Hi, I'm Jeffrey with The Craft Kitchens. Peak season for peaches is the perfect time to whip up a delectable treat. I'm not talking about a cobbler as you might expect. I'm talking about peach shortcakes. I bet you're thinking of strawberries as the traditional filling for shortcakes, but fresh, ripe peaches will also pair perfectly with these sweet biscuits. I'll show you a trick on making these in a few seconds. To get started, I've preheated my oven to 425. Now, to make the biscuits. In this large bowl, I'm gonna mix together flour, my sugar, my Calumet baking powder, and a touch of lemon zest. I'm gonna mix this briefly, just to combine the ingredients. Now, I'm gonna cut in some cubed Philadelphia cream cheese. Now, the key with this is it's cubed, but it's still chilled. That's what's gonna give you nice, light, beautiful biscuits. You wanna keep cutting this until you get a nice, coarse crumble, kinda of like wet sand. Okay, you can see we have this nice, even crumb. Now, to turn this into a dough, we're gonna add our milk. I'm gonna use a wooden spoon just to bring the dough together. And be ready to adjust. Sometimes you need a little more, a little less flour. You're just looking for a consistency where it's not too sticky, but it all comes together and forms a ball. Now, when it gets to the stage, I like to dump it out onto my cutting board and then use your hands just to finish forming it. You don't wanna overwork it and you don't wanna warm it up. And you can see that this is coming together nicely, so I don't need all this flour. Don't feel like you have to get all of that in there. Then we're gonna divide this into eight pieces. So first, I'm just gonna pull it apart into two pieces, and then again, and then one more time. And then you'll kind of adjust to make sure that each of the eight balls are the same size. You might need to put a little flour on your hands to keep it from sticking too much. Just kind of cup them in your hands on the cutting board and roll them into balls. And you don't want to overwork it because that'll make them tough. You want them nice and light and tender. You want to space those evenly on the pan. And I've sprayed this pan with a little non-stick cooking spray. Once you've got them on there, we want to press those down to about a half an inch thick. All right, we're almost done. Philly makes making these biscuits so easy. All we have left is to top the biscuits. So we're gonna start by brushing them with a little bit of milk. All right, and our last step before we go into the oven is a little bit of sugar. If you wanna take this up a notch, you could mix some ground cinnamon, maybe even some orange zest into the sugar and then sprinkle it on top. Or you could try a little bit of brown sugar. These will go into the oven for 12 to 15 minutes or until they're light, golden, and brown. While I'm waiting for my biscuits to bake, I'm gonna make the peach topping. First, I have my ripe peaches, and I love the way three simple ingredients can be so brilliant together. Perfectly ripe peaches, a little bit of sugar. The sugar is gonna draw out the juice of the peaches to kind of create a sauce. And then the lemon juice is gonna keep the peaches bright as well as adding a nice bright acidity to the mixture. So I've removed the biscuits from the oven. They're light, golden, and perfect. I've let them cool on my baking rack. Now it's time to assemble them. So the first thing you do is you take the biscuit, put your hand on top, being careful with a bread knife, and just cut right through the middle. We're gonna put these peaches right on top of the biscuit and then our Cool Whip Whip topping. And we are ready to eat. These peach shortcakes are the perfect summertime dessert. The next time you think shortcakes, think peach. For more sumptuous sweets, search keyword desserts on craftfoods.com.